Welcome to today's 3D print. Here are some goodies that I printed for my CR10 with my CR10, which is currently printing ready for a quick peek. <gasps> that. <laughs> um, the um, second thing I ever printed was this. This is the strain relief for the um, heat bed. You can see it came out very nice. I am seriously, seriously blown away with the quality of this printer right out of the box. This is over extruded a little bit. I've since lowered my multiplier to 0.96. That seems to be the sweet spot. But there is the strain relief and cap. Then you have the um, expanders for the height of the Z adjustment or bed level screw knobs. This makes them bigger so they're easier to handle. And you, this is for the uh, Bowden tube thing. I'm not sure why, but hey, it's a three minute print, why not? Uh, this is the um, management attachment for the back to guide the filament and hold the wire. It goes on the back of the, right there. It'll go. And then um, this, of course, is the fang for the printer. This is the OEM one, so this will mount onto your printer like this. Um, this is where the stock fan will go, here and here. And this actually printed like that, using the Print and Z skin, which works very well. I don't even have it stuck down, I just have the binder clips holding it down so I can still take it off. It was a heck of a lot cheaper than the other one. <laughs> Um, the bed does sink a little bit in the middle. I just put a little bit of tape in the middle to lift up the center a little bit. It works perfectly. The bed's nice and leveled. But there you go. The parts that I've printed. Let me give you some close-ups of this. So you can see how nice this is. And these pictures are no post-processing at all. This is as it came off the printer. A little bit of string in there. But I did nothing to these parts. These are exactly how they came off the print bed. Absolutely spectacular. This prints as good, if not slightly better, than my um, want, uh, Maker Select V2 after being heavily modified and tuned. And this is working this well virtually out of the box for 400 bucks. My Maker Select costs a lot more than $400 when you add all my upgrades to it. This is amazing. This is eSun's PLA Pro. This stuff is ridiculously strong. But there you go. I'll be installing these on the printer soon. And, um, I was going to print out Z bracing, but it doesn't need it. The printer is so rock solid. I don't think it needs any Z brace at all. It might when I go to 700 millimeters. <laughs> but for now, I don't think it needs anything. Even my crazy tall prints are coming out just fine. Give me a close up of this. Very, very nice prints. I'm very happy. The layer lines are rock solid. There it goes. On to more prints. You will not be disappointed with this printer. <laughs>